Hey everyone, welcome to Homes for Beginners where I show you how to do repairs around the house yourself. In this video here I'll be showing you how to replace the self-propelled drive belt on your walk-behind lawnmower. This is a Cub Cadet 997ES model. There are other models which use the same body with a different color and others may even have a similar drive system. Drive belts will eventually wear out, stretch or crack causing the drive system to have issues when the self-propelled system is being operated. Make sure the engine is cold and there isn't an excessive amount of fuel in the tank, otherwise it can spill out. Whenever you're working around the blade area, always remove the spark plug wire and move it off to the side. Flip the lawnmower on its side, carburetor side up. Wearing gloves is certainly recommended for the next step. Remove the blade, use the appropriate size socket with a half inch drive ratchet or Johnson bar for extra leverage. You can use a block of wood to jam the blade in place if needed. In order to reduce the chance of your hand slipping and hitting the blade, I would recommend having the ratchet handle aligned with the blade but slightly lower than the edge, pushing it away from the blade. Remove the bolt with the retaining plate and blade. You may need a scraper to remove any grass buildup. Next is removing the five retaining bolts holding on the plastic cover. Cover designs may vary. There will be three bolts around the center of the engine base. A socket, extension, and ratchet is best here. Two more will be located in behind the drive wheels. A wrench is best here. Remove the plastic cover. With this particular design of cover, this tends to trap in debris, so you'll most likely need to clean it up in behind. A scraper can be used for this. Open up the pulley on the engine. This is done by pulling the gear selector to the lowest speed setting. Now you'll have extra movement in the cable. Ensure the belt is not around the shaft base. Push in the lever plate to the pulley and disconnect the cable. The cable fits into a slot as you can see. There is an enlarged hole to pop the cable end out. Remove the belt from around the drive system pulley. Remove the belt from around the engagement pulley. You should be able to slip it past the retaining bracket. To get the belt from around the engine shaft, feed the belt through the lever plate center hole. Once almost through, push the lever plate in, then feed it around the top and remove. As you can see the drive belt is worn and cracked. Compare the old and new belts to ensure they are the same. I purchased this belt at my local lawn equipment supplier. Simply provide them with the model number and they'll provide you with the belt required for your mower. This does take a thinner style V belt than what is typically found on other yard equipment. Install the new belt and reverse the removal. Loop it around the shaft, then feed it through the center hole on the lever plate. Push the remaining portion past the plate on the bottom side. Place the belt around the engine pulley, make sure it's fully opened. Pull the belt over and feed it around the drive system pulley and finally push it alongside the engagement pulley. Again, make sure the belt isn't at the center of the engine pulley so it can be fully closed. Push the lever plate down towards the engine base then reinstall the speed selector cable. Give it a look over and spin to ensure the belt is seated properly. It may be a good idea to take photos along the way using your phone as a reference. Clean away any dirt or grass buildup if needed, then install the plastic cover. I find it's best to start the bolts by hand first, this will ensure everything lines up. Then finish up tightening the bolts. Don't over tighten the bolts around the engine base, as these only go into a stamped body so they can strip easier. The other two thread into plastic and this can become brittle with age. As a little tip here, here you can see the bolt for the lawnmower blade has been over tightened at some point. This is shown by holding the bolt against a straight edge. You can see the bolt has a thinner section on the threaded portion, meaning the bolt has been stretched past its yield point so it's unsafe to use. New bolts can be purchased from your local fastener or lawn equipment supplier. Reinstall the blade and tighten the bolt. It's always a good idea to clean up the threads on the bolt with a wire brush, then apply a medium grade thread locker. This will prevent the bolt from coming loose, which isn't much of an issue as it's self tightening due to the direction it turns. Most importantly, the thread locker will prevent the bolt from seizing which can sometimes be a problem on mowers. Torque the bolt to the factory specifications, this will vary between models and engines. 
With the new belt, it will be tighter, and depending on the age of your mower, the cables may be stretched, so adjustments will be required. There are two adjustments, one is for the speed selector, and the other is for the drive engagement. At the base of the deck will be a speed selector adjustment. Put the gear selector in the highest setting, loosen the nut at the base of the deck, it has an elongated hole. Pull the bracket all the way back to the handlebars, then tighten the nut. As for the drive engagement, this is located on the underside of the handlebars. There is an adjustment nut that can be turned with your fingers. If you do find there is hesitation in the drive when the handle is pulled back, the cable will need to be tightened. If you do find the drive is working fine but the handle does have excessive tension when pulled back, then the cable may need to be loosened. After that, test out the lawnmower to ensure everything is working fine, and you're done. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home DIY videos. Thank you for watching.